Welcome to our YouTube channel, the Solving Math with Leonalyn. Now, let's answer a question from random polls. Kung napapansin nyo, minsan, binablard ko yung, I mean, tinatakpan ko yung name, pero ito hindi na lang natin tatakpan kasi sigurado namang hindi ito yung mismong real account. So, anyway, basahin muna natin yung mismong problem. Ito ay nakapost sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. An electronics engineering student got a score of 30% on test 1 of the 5 number test in mathematics. On the last number, he got 90% in which constant difference more on each number than he had on the immediately preceding one. Ang question, what was his average score in mathematics? Pero bago ang lahat para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, ito yung FB natin. At kung meron kayong concern, dito na lang kayo mag-message sa free reviewers managed by Leonalyn. Huwag na lang dito sa mismong account ko kasi sobrang dami na ng mga messages dyan. Tambak na talaga yan ng mga messages. So, dito na lang kayo sa free reviewers managed by Leonalyn. Para sa mga naghahanap naman ng mga libre printable na reviewers, ugaliin ding basahin yung auto-reply dyan. Otherwise, punta na lang kayo sa files dito sa FB group na to, Philippine Civil Service Review for All. At ito naman yung iba pang mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan. Basahin natin ulit yung problem. An electronics engineering student got a score of 30% on test 1 of the 5 number test in mathematics. On the last number, he got 90%. In which constant difference more on each number than he had on the immediately preceding one. What was his average score in mathematics? Doon muna tayo sa shortcut. Consider this as our solution number one. Madali lang sana yan, pero ipakita ko lang sa inyo. Ignore na natin yung percent sign. One, two, three, four. 4, ang panglima ay naka 90% siya. Ang tanong lang naman ay average. Ang nandito ay meron tayong constant difference. Therefore, yung nasa gitna dyan ay average. Ito lang ang i-add natin. 30 plus 90 and that is 120 divided by 2. This is 60. 60 yung sagot, 60%. Now, para naman sa solution number 2, 90 minus 30, and that is 60. I-divide natin ng 1, 2, 3, 4. I-divide natin ng 4, and this is 15. Therefore, 30 plus 15, and that is 45. 45 plus 15, and that is exactly 60. 60 plus 15, and this is 75. 75 plus 15, and that is 90. I-add lang natin yan siya lahat, kasi average naman ang hinahanap. So, i-add natin yan, divided by 5. 30 plus 45 plus 60 plus 75 plus 90, and that is 300. 300 divided by 5, kasi ang tanong ay average, and this is 60. Kaya ang sagot ay 60%. What was his average in mathematics? 60%. Now, let's do solution number 3. Para meron kayo mga choices kung saan kayo hiyang. Kung napapansin nyo yung solution number 1, mas maganda yun kasi sa actual na exam, oras ang kalaban nyo. Now, itong solution number 3. Constant difference. Ano ba yung mga merong constant difference? Arithmetic sequence. Meron yan sa elementary. Arithmetic sequence. Ang nasa una ay 30. Ignore muna natin yung percent sign. 5, 1, balito yung first. So, pangalawa na to, 3, 4, ang panglima ay 90. 
Now, remember sa arithmetic sequence, ano ba yung formula ng arithmetic sequence? A sub N, yung N ay yan yung number of terms. Equals A sub 1, yan yung first term. Plus, yung nasa loob ng parenthesis, yung number of term minus 1, tapos i-multiply natin yan sa common difference. Friends. Now, gamitin natin ang formula na yan para malaman natin yung common difference na yan. Ito ay 90. Yan yung 90. Yung 90 na yan, pa ilan yan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, yung n dito ay 5. 5 minus 1. Then, yung a, a sub 1 natin, yung, yung first term ay yung 30. So, 30 plus 5 minus 1 at i-multiply natin sa common difference na hindi pa natin alam at yan yung hanapin natin. Now, isolve muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 5 minus 1 and that is 4. So, this is 4. Next, itong 30 na ito, ipagsama natin sa mga like terms na ba? Itong 30 na to. Since pag-add siya, kapag ma-transfer, pang-minus na siya sa 90. So, this is 90 minus 30 equals 4D. 90 minus 30, and this is 60. Now, since itong si 4 ay pang-multiply sa D, pang-divide na ngayon siya dito sa 60. In other words, nag-divide tayo ng 4 to both sides para makancel siya dyan. Yung letter D na lang ang natira. Yung variable D na lang ang natira. Now, D equals 60 divided by 4. And this is 15. So, therefore, ang common difference natin ay 15. So, yung 15 na yan, i-add natin sa 30. 30 plus 15. And this is 45. 45 plus 15. This will give us 60. 60 plus 15. 15, 15, and this is 75. Now, since meron silang common difference, lahat ng yan, puntahan mo lang yung nasa gitna, yan na yung average. Otherwise, i-add mo yan lahat, which is nagawa na natin. I-add mo nyo yan lahat, i-divide kung ilan yan siya para sa average, and this will give us 60. Kaya ang sagot dito ay 60%. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.